going to show you a solo gram, an illegal solo grandmaster nightfall. Getting platinum rating and showing you how to farm the nightfall for Warden's Law, Sending Shards, Exotics, what have you. This is being, this is done with a massive, massive exploit in the game right now. Disclaimer, you cannot get, this is not a bannable offence if you do this. Right, this is a sort of a weekend exclusive thing that you can do right now. This is obviously going to get sorted out at some point. So, there's an interesting exploit that you can do with one of the, well, you can do it with loads of weapons, but for the Nightfall in particular, you want an infinite firing machine gun that fires shotgun bullets. I want to introduce you to this machine gun here called Recurrent Impact. Don't expect it, I'll just do this. Mulligan and Target Lock Enhanced. So, Mulligan with the exploit gives you infinite heavy ammo. I also have enhanced target lock on there, which doesn't come on this gun. So how did I do that? I also have an aggressive frame shotgun in the machine gun. It says aggressive frame. It's not meant to say aggressive frame. And it's got the symbol to show you that it's a shotgun. So how do we do that? Right. This is how you do it on console. Because I'm tired of people twining or complaining about this on how to do it. You can do it on console. It's not just PC. I hate those players. Like, I'm a console player. Don't keep saying you can't do it on console you can do it on console but you need to be quick if you're good at fight, playing like fighting games like street fighter and stuff then you'll be good at this fov needs to be 55 motion blur on chromatic aberration on film grain on if you do all that stuff then start to do the exploit it'll work better for you right that's step one step two is you need to get a shotgun whether it be imperial decree or Ragnild D or whatever, you need to get that into a 900 RPM shotgun. I don't have Imperial Decree. Right. So what I'm going to do instead, because your cursor, when you scroll left and right with, with the triggers, right, your cursor is going to end up being at recurrent impact for me. But if it was Imperial Decree, right, so, we, so we're here, then when we do that, we're at Flanksy Stride. If you have Imperial Decree, do it with Flanksy Stride. But I didn't. So this is the workaround. Use this shotgun instead. Right, the combination of buttons you need to press are X, R1, and then down twice, and then X again. Do that. It's quite difficult. It's going to take you 30 minutes, 40 minutes, maybe to practice it. Once you get it, that gets the frame in the in the shotgun frame in the machine gun. That's your, that's your first step. The next step, because recurrent impact does not have mulligan, we then need to do some base crafted weapons and go to reship this is far easier than what i've just shown you and what we're going to do well i would have had a flanksy stride but i've deleted it imagine there's a flanksy stride here as well right we would then press x on flanksy stride and then recurrent impact back to back to then get mulligan the first perk we then do another reship because i want target lock off retrofit retrofit is a target lock perk so we would do xx twice so then what you're doing that's not obviously it but what you're doing is you're allowing the perks transferring perks from that gun to this gun so th there's so many different possibilities i just i was like right i'll put target lock on it and then see what that's like but that's how you do the exploit on console so with the illegal farm I think this works best on a Weller Radiance Warlock with Phoenix Protocol. Yes, you can make it work. With, obviously, you make it work with literally anything that you do because you've got infinite heavy and a, a shotgun that fires at 900 RPM at range. It's just obviously going to be crazy. Plus, we've got debuff. We've got target lock. It's just kind of crazy. This start bit, this is going to be the most difficult part of the, uh, of the Nightfall, actually, for you. All right. Left hand side is the best way to go. I see people going right. Don't go right, go left, the way I've just shown you. Right? Now, you're gonna get lots of super energy because of how intellect works in the game. It's tied to your bullets, but it's enhanced with this glitch so that you get more super energy. And then you got Phoenix Protocol on top of that. So you're gonna get wells upon wells upon wells. It's literally the best way of doing this. Uh, when using this exploit. But as I said, you can use anything that you want because you're going to get all that ammo. But remember one thing. Yes, your weapons are super OP. Obviously, really OP. But 
you are still as squishy as what you would be in a, a general GM. You're still going to take a lot of damage if you're not in a well. So you could be, you could still, there's a still chance of, of uh, dying. What you want to know is when do you pop wells? Where's the best place to pop wells and stuff like that? So you can see that you can basically instantly kill everything, including barriers. It's highly unlikely that you don't kill a barrier right, right away. Mulligans is going to keep procking your ammo. So look, I'm still at 99. Right? It's just going to keep procking. So it's infinite ha ammo at this point. Obviously, the spawns work. You just keep pushing up, right? It's a good spot to do a well here because you still need access to a little bit of cover just here and there. Especially when you pop a well right in front of lots of enemies. There's still a chance of death. Exploded shanks could kill you. Stuff like that. But as I said, you shouldn't be dying with a loadout like this. You're literally not going to use any other weapon but the machine gun. That's all you're going to use for the most part. Unless there's unstoppable champions. One thing to know about the bug though. If you don't kill an enemy in one mag and then reload. So I found this with Armit. The Armit solo all rifle I was using that initially. If you didn't kill a champ in one mag and then you reload, the champ will, re will regen its health entirely. That's not going to happen so much with this. Look at the melt there. It's not going to happen so much with this because you, you're not going to have to reload the LMG. We're going to push up a little bit more, pop another well. Just clear out as many ads as possible. There's two snipers spawn on this phase. Not that it matters. But you can see that the super intellect on the left hand side, I'm getting tons of super energy because, as I say, because of the, the rate of fire, the 900 RPM, and just the fact that um, it's a shotgun in a, in a machine gun. The barrier nearly, the barrier almost put a barrier up there. Right, that was crazy. I was thinking it was this door, stupidly. I don't know why I was thinking it was this door. It's around the other side. I'm being very dumb right now. And that's our first bit done. Pretty straightforward. You're just going to be able to melt all the enemies. It's the easiest solo GM. This technically could be the easiest solo GM ever. I can't think of an easier time when there was a solo GM. And even when it was Lake of Shadows. The old Lake of Shadows. Even that is far more difficult than what this is. It's not that this GM, it's not the GM's fault, it's the fact that you've got this huge exploit going on right now, right? It's not, it's not the fact that, Euro, although Europa is an easier battleground GM than the other battlegrounds, but it's still, I still actually quite like this GM, I don't care what other people say. In this room, we're going to melt the barrier on the right first, pop a well, right? And then we're going to go for the other barriers. They can regen. I think it happens to me here. And the barrier ends up regen. And he's actually put a barrier up. That's fantastic. He's debuffed as well. <laughs> Melt both barriers in one well. Got our well back. We need to get an unstop shot. I'm going to repop a well. Why not? Get a stun here. See if the LMG can melt from here. It can easily. And then we'll just rel melt the rest of the enemies. But yeah, as I say, it's basically infinite ammo because of Mulligan. But if you had the Imperial Decree, then craft the Flanksy Stride. But technically, you could have it on fixed odds. You could have it on uh, Commeration. You can have it on any LMG that you want. I don't think there's any limits. But some things won't work. For example, if you try and put a Fusion Rifle in an Auto, it won't work. If you put a Slug Shotgun in an Auto Rifle, it won't work. I don't know how snipers, I haven't tried anything with snipers in terms of how they work with stuff. Like, can you put a sniper in an in a, in a LMG? You, you can. It's the question if it works or not. I don't know. I haven't looked at every single possibility because I was busy. See, what I'm sort of mini pissed off about, I was super busy with doing the Sturm damage testing, right? All that stuff. I was busy with that. That video took me quite a while. But whilst I was doing that, I was oblivious to this gl glitch. Right? So I was, like, busy with doing my stuff. And, and then when I post my Stern video, which I was, like, hoping it would do really well, right, this exploit comes along, which is bad for me because everybody's 
talking about the exploit. So I should have maybe waited with the Sturm and made post of the video next week when this had all died down. It's unfortunate. It's generally my how my look goes. When I when I get a good idea for a video, post it up, but then something else is going on in the community. It really did piss me off, but it is what it is. Um, I will say that some people are saying that the game should be like this. It's absolutely ridiculous how what people are saying. If you go on Reddit and stuff, because everyone's in a frenzy, some people are saying when they fix this, they don't want to play the game anymore. What are they, what are we talking about here? Like this, I tell you what it does. I tell you what it does point out to me. This crafting thing, it points out to me that perks should be mods. I've said this in the past. Perks should be interchangeable mods. The crafting system should be different to what how we know it, right? I don't actually technically really like the crafting system as it is. How I envisage it should be is that it should be that when you unlock explosive payload, you can put it on literally everything apart from like, you know, rockets. You couldn't put it on that. So the mods would have to be designed. You'd have to redesign all the perks in the game and maybe have like, you know, um, perks for kinetic weapons, perks for energy weapons, perks for heavy weapons. But it, it's, it, it, I'll tell you why it's not good. The, it's not good, the crafting system, because if you want to put adaptive munitions on a certain art rifle, it might not roll with adaptive munitions. Why? Why? Every primary should be allowed to have adaptive munitions. Every primary. Right? Demolitionist. Certain guns don't have that. Disruption break. Remember disruption break? How good of a perk that is? Especially when paired with, like, Izanagi's Burden or... Um, with a hard when you're up against barriers. It's rare for certain guns to have disruption break. All good, like most scouts and most autos and pulse rifles should have disruption break. That's what I'm saying. The whole system needs to be redone. But they would have to look at that probably after final shape. Because the crafting as it is now is too strict and it's too... Well, only this shotgun has this. The, only this sky rival has this. I'm saying it needs to be far more lenient, and you should be able to unlock a perk as a mod, right? So think of Dream and City mods, Transcendent, Blessing. That's a mod. However, it depreciates that mod, and it's badly designed. But I'm saying it should be kind of like that. But you put that mod in and out of guns. That is that is applicable to the gun, right? Obviously, you wouldn't put disruption break in certain gun types. I understand that. I'm just saying it's dumb that certain perks should be on other guns and they're not. Because Bungie decided, right, we don't want this gun to have this identity. Right? So, another example, Cartis and Coordinate. Why is that gun not got Control Burst? Why is it not got Control Burst? Or because the new one's got it. I don't care that the new one's got it. I want Cartis and Coordinate to have. Crafting should be for the player, not for anyone else. It should benefit the player and let them customize what they want to do. It's not what Bungie wants to do. It's what you want to do. If I want to put a certain scope on a gun, let me do it. Let me do it. The scopes in the game. Right, another example, Bad Juju. So, Cartis and Coordinate has Bad Juju scope. Why? Because they decided that that was the case. No, I don't want them to decide that that's the case. I want I want to decide what scope I want on a gun. That's what crafting should be. Link materials to it. Obviously, don't just let us go willy-nilly with it. I understand that. I understand that. There needs to be some material cost to that. And have the crafting, whatever it might be, linked to some sort of activity. right? Or you need to buy the mod again. I don't know. But... <clears throat> They should be interchangeable. Warframe does that. If you've ever played Warframe, you own the mod. You'll get it again, but you own the mod and then can put fire rounds into an SMG. Fire rounds into a scout rifle type thing. Or whatever it might be. So that's what... The, in, in the end, that's where we need to go. So for the boss... Pop a well first, because you'll get your well back, which means you've got two wells, basically. So do that. 
I'm going to pop a well underneath the stairs. You don't have to. It could be on top of the stairs if you want it. But I, I just done underneath. It didn't end up, end up mattering. Make sure you shoot the void darts. If you don't shoot the void darts, you can wipe in a well still. Just keep going with the LMG. Right. And then literally just now we can melt the rest of the enemies. Boss is half HP already, of course. There's a barrier that spawns in. Which will melt. These melee enemies watch. You, you, I know you are on an exploit, but you still need to, as I say, be sort of a bit assertive with your gameplay and your well. And make sure that you, you, you've got another well charged back. That is the key to this, is just make sure you've got another well. Snipers up top, get those. Wizards. And then you're literally just done. Curse Fall can wipe as well, wipe you in a well. So just make sure that you kill them. We've got another well here. We'll pop that with me as well. Huh. And then just, as I say, kill all the rest of the enemies. Once we're on energy, arc energy, you can dupe the arc energy batteries. I didn't do that. Because I've been, I've been having trouble duping them. So I didn't even bother uh, attempting in the run. But you could do that. You could pop a well in mid dupe say four kill the rest of the enemies it would be a little bit more riskier because there'd be more wizards spawning but you could do it save yourself two minutes if you wanted it's not necessary to do it like you're gonna do this run in 15 minutes you're gonna average between 15 to 12 minutes this run you could probably even do it less than 10 minutes be interested to see if anyone can get sub 10 on a solo GM with this exploit definitely is possible and there'll be somebody out there that has done it I popped a well in mid, which was a bad idea. So I'm not going to do this again because the wizard has done smoke on, on the well in mid. And I didn't like it. I couldn't see where the wizards are. If enough, wiz if enough wizards pelt you in a well, you still die. So I'm not going to do that again. I've got a well for the next battery, which you can just keep farming off the mages that keep spawning in over and over. I will be honest. I'll just say something because the gameplay is self-explanatory from here. A lot of people, like I said, people are saying they want the game to be like this. I'm just being honest. If the game was like this, I would be, I would definitely quit within two weeks. I wouldn't quit, quit, but I would start playing some other game because the the whole meaning of the game is out the window. So you need to understand that the game can't go on like this. It can't for me. Like it would just make me not want to play. I would like to watch some stuff, you know, on it, people that's made content on it, but the longevity of the game can't go on like this. It, it, it's not feasible. I'm telling you, most people would stop playing within two to three weeks and then just pick the game back up a final ship. That's literally what would happen. It's fun right now. It's just something that we're doing. It's Laser Tag 2.0. That's what it is. Have fun with it making certain weapons that's all it is but people who are saying this is how the game should be they want to really look at what they're actually saying do they actually know what they're saying right now you want fully automatic shotguns in in machine guns and rockets is that what you want i think what it is is that the game isn't the game so many casual players play this game right there's casuals, there's mid players, there's your top 10%, there's your top 1%. Bungie can't please everybody. It's impossible. Not one game has ever done that where they've pleased every skill set style of players to ever exist. There's never been a game that's done that. Bungie have tried to do that by making it PvP PvE and they've entertain pvp players for a long time there's still a loyal audience playing pvp after all this long and there's still a loyal audience playing pve so they've done a good job i think overall but they do get things wrong um but you can't as i say have it like this but one thing to take note from this is that i think perks should be mods and we put them in and out of guns that's how i think it should be Obviously, there's more to it than that. You can't just say that, but that's what I think. Take coming from this, that's what should that's what should happen. So now we're just going to pop a well and then kill the boss at the very end, just to kill the boss, and that's literally the illegal farm. Hope you enjoy. Thank you.